この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Are you curious where you can watch the latest episode of Kamen Rider and Sentai every week? Well, since there is no official release, you might have to resort to alternative methods. Personally, when I search for website to watch Tokusatsu, my top priority is to safeguard my personal data. That's why I rely on Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video. With Surfshark, your online safety and privacy is paramount as it Is effective at concealing your online activities through its VPN capabilities. By encrypting your internet traffic that nobody can prey into your online endeavors or track your digital whereabouts. Additionally, Surfshark enables you to virtually explore the world with a tap thanks to its ability to change your VPN address. By switching your location to anywhere in America, let's say, you can access at At least over 10 Ultraman shows and movies, or explore other Toku shows available on Toku Shoutsu. You can poke around at the Japanese premium Bandai page and discover a captivating array of expensive children's toys. I highly recommend getting Surfshark VPN today as it comes with an extra free month. Simply click the link in the description, and if you are unsatisfied, rest assured there is a 30 day month. Money back guarantee. So, why wait any longer? Take advantage of this fantastic offer and sign up now. It's an incredible opportunity for all of you, my fellow Tokusatsu fans. I genuinely really enjoyed this episode's shenanigans. Being Kijimin, disguised as Himeno, proposes to the world that she is looking for a husband to lure out the kings. To kill them all. But a very handsome man that is clearly Sebastian shows up to throw a wrench in his plan. I really found a lot of the bits in this episode to be really funny or really cool. One being Gear Up being the completely clueless gay man. Because you can tell me. That he and Jeremy don't have anything together. They clearly are. Knowing that there is something wrong with him and all, but he's the only one that screams out loud about it, but he's too weirded out by everything, so he doesn't know what to do. Yanman actually tries to impress him and all. But he gets too lost in the sauce, so he just gets embarrassed. And when he gains his confidence, Jeremy, being the residential hater of this episode, ruins it for him. While Rina, being the only sensible one, actually u n d e r s t a n d that, yeah, this might not be him and all, and just t r y to kind of understand what's going on. And, like, I really liked it. And I really liked that, like, Daiboski. Didn't show up in this episode at all because, because he has a completely different thing to do, specifically with the next episode. And handsome Sebastian was like this swab guy that, like, ah, damn, like, I would like him to take me on a date also. But learning more about him was really cool. Learning that, oh, yeah, like, he's a completely handsome dude that just everybody just like, oh my god, he's so hot. Like, That type of thing, literally, it's like, how does it work? Like, how? And also, we need to talk about that makeup. That makeup not only like changes his appearance, also it like changes his bone structure and his height. Because, like, regular old Sebastian is just like a bit short, but like the real one, the one without the makeup, is like six foot. How does that work? And also, does Ishibana sell that makeup? And can they just make me like 5'11? Like, at least? Like, come on. I don't need to ruin my shins to be taller. And I like the idea that the deceiver, Hijimin, got deceived by Sebastian. That pretty much played the long game until Himeno got out of her prison. And it's even funnier to think that even with the time skip, Hijimin is still the same jobber that he is because he's the first out of the five jesters to actually lose the kingdom after he got hit too many times by Himeno and he just ditched out. 
That was kind of funny. We also got a Jeffrey the Giraffe cameo. It was kind of funny that just like Jeffrey the Giraffe and Muffin just exist in the same world. I don't know why I think it's really cool. And also that moment got us our only appearance by Daiboski. Pretty much coming to Rita and say, hey, yeah, I need your help. Yeah, the old ruler of Tofu came back and I kind of need you to come and help me to, you know, eh, execute her. So yeah, like overall, like this, this was a very fun episode. Nothing like big. I don't believe it's as interesting as last week's episode, but it was still fun. So yeah, what you all thought about King Ogier episode 36, comment below, let me know. Thanks for Surfshark for sponsoring my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. Thank you very much, have a great rest of your day.